Some of the more irritating bits of pseudoscience that gets passed around on Facebook is the dog shit from David Wolf. He is one of these bullshit health gurus who advocates eating raw food and also says that the earth is flat. Optically, it's one of the things you have to deal with. Optically, the world's flat. He loves to push chocolate as though it's literally magic and healthy. I suspect he knows this is bullshit, and he figures he can make a lot of money off of selling chocolate to people while saying it's good for them. Chocolate lines up planetarily with the sun. What the fuck does that mean? The sun is not a planet, and chocolate is not a planet, so how the fuck do they line up planetarily? Do you just mean that chocolate is on this planet, and this planet lines up? Well then literally everything on this planet lines up with the sun. Chocolate is an octave of sun energy. An octave is double or half the frequency of a wave. What the fuck does it mean to say that chocolate is double or half the frequency of the sun's energy? In fact, it's the energy of the center of the sun. It's a male energy that comes down off the sun and, and it actually out of all the plants, the cacao is right online target of the center of the sun, which we call in our body the heart and actually cacao's right up with the center of the sun, which is the center of the heart, which is called the sacred heart. What the fuck is a male energy? What the fuck does it mean to say that cacao, out of all the plants, is right on line target the center of the sun? This is word fucking salad. So the cacao is hitting that frequency of the sacred heart. What frequency is that specifically? How the fuck does this guy even know any of this? It sounds like he's making it up as he goes along. He sounds like he's reading from some kid's 8th grade creative writing assignment. He sucks people into his Facebook page by putting up memes that are most of the time pretty innocuous and platitudinous, and then boom, he hits you with dangerous bullshit like this. This is a meme that could literally kill someone. It's been shared 4100 times. How many actual cancer patients do you think have seen this and have decided either to not get chemo or to discontinue chemo as a result? I don't know how much money the folks at Snopes make, but David Wolf's Facebook posts alone could keep them in business. He also runs his own institute, where for $600 you can be certified to spread the same dangerous bullshit that he spreads. Here's a montage of some of his other obvious nonsense. Same octave as serotonin. It's on the same octave as the sun. It's on the same octave as a smile. It's on the same octave as gold. Deer eaters have a different consciousness than a cow eater. A deer eater is actually more into consciousness in the stars and the heavens, more in the ethereal realms. A cow eater is like, uh, we're here. And it's an energy that comes from the sun. Now, in terms of planetary alchemy, what you want to use to balance off the cacao, because it's an alchemical process, you need something that's coming up with the earth force, or we call it the ormus, an energy that moves out of the earth towards the sun. That's ormus. Remember what I was telling you about? Like, if you become loaded with ormus, all the cosmic energies come right into you. Because it wants to mate with you. I guess if cosmic energy wants to fuck you, that's a good thing? Mushroom spores have been found at every altitude of the Earth. Right up into the troposphere. Right in the ionosphere, stratosphere, everywhere. Every single height has been found mushroom spores. Because they can levitate off the planet. Because they're surrounded by a shell of Ormus. Which actually is trying to get to the center of the sun. Occasionally, it gets slingshotted right off the center of the sun and gets propelled out into the atmosphere, into the solar system, and then eventually gets slingshotted out across the galaxy, like the way we do our satellites. And so mushrooms are, in fact, not from here. They're from somewhere else. How could anyone believe this shit? How is it possible to make a living snowing people with such obvious horse shit? I'll put a link to an article at a scienceenthusiast.com that goes into more detail about this asshole.